where you were when the earthquake and tsunami uh, hit Fukushima. I, I was in Boston and watching all the news. I couldn't believe my eyes, and uh, I I was trying to do something to do from Boston, you know, reaching my parents and trying to call them. It was a pretty scary moment. When were you finally able to go back to Fukushima and see what had happened? Uh, it was uh, September um, 2011. So about half a year later. Mm -hmm. Yep. What did you see? I saw like many people anxious about red radiations. Every elementary school, our uh, students have little this uh, radiation meter, which tells you where the radiation level is high, and it's like the different world. Somebody from Fukushima watching this from thousands of miles away, it, it, it results in a kind of trauma. Uh, has writing this song and performing it, has it helped you kind of like deal with what happened and not being there to see it? Yes, um, it's making music and composing tune makes a little different in my life. And I was uh, having a hard time I explaining like what happened and uh, what I felt about myself and the uh, re reflection of the tsunami. After writing that tune, I feel a little better and I played that tune in the Fukushima twice. I was trying to help, but I, would, I didn't know what to do about that. And I hope, you know, writing tune and playing the ocean and talking uh, about the story of Fukushima like time like this would be the best thing I could do. Did you explain to the audience what the composition was about, the ocean, and what was the reaction to it? Every time I explain about like there's there's a uh, silence. After I explain about the story about the ocean, it's kind of similar with praying. People get together, like the togetherness is happening. Mm -hmm. 